How you doing? I want to take you guys somewhere that's really, really special. Well, it's uh, special to me anyway. Welcome to my kitchen and also welcome to my channel and today I'm cooking up an absolute bloody treat one of my favorites my mate Wayne and I shot it well, actually I found it Wayne shot it and I've got its back strap if you guess what it is it's not a pig it's not a goat it's not a sheep it's not a rabbit it's not a hare it's a bit of venison would you look at that look at that that's the gold bar of every animal, the back strap. Well, it's actually half the back strap because you guys know it's a bit longer than that. But that's a lot of tucker for a little man like me. First things first is we're gonna salt it. I think you've seen me use it many times. Pink Himalayan salt and plenty of it too. If you're on a ketogenic diet, then you'll be wanting to eat plenty of salt every day. If you're on a standard Western diet where you're eating refined carbohydrates, sugar and shit, then you won't because you'll give yourself a bloody heart attack. But in a state of ketosis, you need lots of salt and salt makes stuff taste good, particularly meat. I'm going to go even more on that. Going to heat the pan and rest that while it's heating. Check out this beautiful red onion grown by my mate Tony. He's also given me some small tomatoes and this garlic. I mean, where is it? The garlic. Got to show you the garlic. Oh, here we go. The size of this. I've, I've taken a few off it, but it's, it's not like the stuff you buy in the supermarket. It's really bloody good. Now, red onion is the best onion for eating onion when it's raw. If you're doing fried onion or saute, then white's better. But I don't have any white, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save a little bit of this for my salad and saute the rest of the pan now. And we're gonna add some of this garlic for flavor. Garlic and steak is a must, it goes together really well. Gonna tear into this like an animal. Look at that, whole onion comes off just like that. These are beautiful, mate. Tony, I'll tell you about Tony. Tony lives over somewhere in Tarkica. He milks cows for a farmer. That's a bloody hard job because you've got to get up like super early in the morning. He's got a beautiful wife and beautiful children, three beautiful children. He works bloody hard. And last year when I needed firewood, he just rocked on over and gifted me a load of firewood. How good's that? I took him for a pig hunt and he caught his first pig. So that was like bloody fantastic that we actually got something. He didn't tell me on the day that he was sick. Look at this. Look at this. Check it out. Simon Walker Precision SGW Knife Kitchen. Never been used. It's a virgin, virgin knife to be broken in right now on this. Can I tilt this so you can see it to its first cut? Because really, I mean, it's just a bloody beautiful knife. So what we're going to do is just take that off now. You can just feel just how sharp it is. Put that aside and cut like this straight down the middle. Beautiful, man. Just beautiful. And there's some slices this way. That is a nice knife there, Simon. Never used. My board could be a bit more stable. I probably should have put something underneath it now. It's found its, its place. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. It is magic. It is magic. Just slicing up so easy. So easy. 
and there's my red onion just pretty much done like that oh man that is just a magic knife look at that beautiful knife right the pan is heating let's throw some butter in it it's actually heating with nothing in it this here is new zealand butter with a bit of plant or something hanging off it i don't know what but it's so when i say new zealand butter it's from grass feed cattle not grain feed so we're going to heat that on low and we're going to put our onion straight into the pan i've soaked a little bit of this onion and i've put it in a bowl for the salad one of the things about people that grow their own vegetables like tony and my mate Stu Driva and other people is that their vegetables taste a shitload better than the vegetables that you buy in the supermarket why is that somebody explain I have a theory, and the theory is that this stuff here grows really slowly in the ground. It's not uh, bumped up with lots of sort of um, stuff like, you know, heaps of added. It's just natural soil, and my theory is that it gets a chance to grow the way it's supposed to and absorb all that good stuff from the soil. That's just my uh, spin on it. I don't know, but you tell me, because it always tastes better. You can probably see my face in that. I can report to you guys that this knife here, it's just so sharp and so well balanced. I really want to thank, thank you Simon. It's, it's a cranky good knife mate. You know how I love to cook and you know how I love knives. You've just, you've outdone yourself on this one. This is a beauty, absolute beauty. I will put the link below for you guys that like knives. So you can get one off Simon, they're custom made. And I'm cutting very slowly here because two reasons. A, I don't have my glasses on I can't really see what I'm doing. And secondly, this is a sharp knife. If you make a mistake, you're gonna you're gonna take flesh off. It is razor sharp, as you can see, just like how I'm cutting. Look at that, just beautiful on the knife. So, I'm gonna divide this in half, and we're gonna put half into the pan right now. This knife, that much there is gonna go in, and we'll caramelise that with the onion. Spectacular view out the window, isn't it? That's with the tide out. Imagine what it's like when the tide is in. This place is a place to die for. This is my paradise, this is my getaway. This is where I get away from, even myself, I come here and I don't think about stuff. I just come here and chill, cook, fish, do a bit of work on the place, painting, but I don't do any editing, don't do any anything here, just let myself just chill out and it's fantastic. It's where I rejuvenate myself and I think we all need a place like that, don't we? So I hope that you've got a place that you can go to that's similar. You don't have to own it either, it could be you know, anywhere, it could be a tent pitched out in the forest somewhere, or it could be a park where there's nobody. I think away from people is important sometimes, I think sometimes we have too much people in our lives and too much internet and too much electricity, it's like just so important to get away and go, <sighs> yeah. So my beautiful steak's been resting for about 20 minutes with the salt and you can see the fluid already coming out in it. And this is kind of good, it means that it increases the flavour and gets rid of some of the fluid. You can take it further and stand at the fridge for a couple of days, a bit of salt if you want to, and you get a really strong meat. But for me, this will be absolutely fine. What goes really well with meat, with wild game? Mushrooms. I've got two mushrooms, gonna slice those. One thing that Simon's really good at is making things sharp. Mushrooms in. That's my remaining red onion chopped up from a salad. Heaps of that stuff, oh, I love it. Straight out of the... Uh, Garden? Nah, nah. Water at New Wheel, that. But what I do have out of Tony's garden is I've got these here. These beautiful little chewy tomatoes. Now, with tomatoes, yes, they are nice in a salad like they are, but I tell you what, if you heat them in the pan, two things happen. The main thing that happens is that you smash all the lectins in it. What are lectins? Lectins are things that a, the plant has, produces to protect itself from being eaten and stuff, and actually can make you quite sick. So if you suffer from arthritis or any inflammatory sort of disorder then tomatoes or any of the uh, nightshade family aren't good to eat. But if you cook them, then you stuff it. Like the, the lectins break down. Second thing is, lycopene is in cooked tomatoes. Something I only learnt years after um, the fact, but it actually stops men getting prostate cancer by quite a large margin, being scientifically proven. Uh, so if you cook your tomatoes, um, then you get that benefit of the lectins being destroyed and also the lycopene. You can also get lycopenes of course uh, the tomato paste used for pizza or tomato sauce, ketchup, but of course ketchup's got sugar in it and sugar's shit, it's bad for you. So uh, this is the best way to eat them, throw them in a pan. Just like that.
Boom. Done. Oop. Now normally I'd have olive oil by dressing and I don't have any, that's just because I've run out. What I do have is I have a lemon. And when you cut a lemon, here's a trick. If you don't know it already, just cut the middle piece out like this. Just like that there. So you've got them in your knife. And get rid of pips. This way when you squeeze it, you don't get stuff in your eyes. It just comes out nicely. And uh, you can do it with just your hand again, but to squeeze it. Lots of lemon juice. It's a really good natural dressing for your salad. There goes our mushrooms, garlic, onions and tomatoes done. I want to heat that up as much as I can. You can see it's smoking in the pan. I've cut it in half because it's a, a very big piece of steak. And the other piece here is for lunch tomorrow. I want it fast and I want it hot. That's the way I like it. Fast and hot. It's bloody hot. There goes our garlic that we saved. Oh, the smell of that, man, it's working, it's really working. Now I like my steak blue, and I think I've done this a bit too much. It's probably between medium and rare. It's a big piece of meat and I kept on turning it, but uh, let's find out really what it's like. I like my fish raw, and I like my meat just about as raw. And I've got butter on my knife, that's not going to bother us, is it? How's it look? Oh, not bad actually. I think I got it right. Oh yes, perfect. Hell yeah. Oh, it smells good. That's really good. Could have done a little bit less, but hey. It's not bad. It smells delicious. You can smell the garlic uh, that's cooked with the meat. Gone right through. That's going to be bloody delicious. I, I nailed it actually. I thought I might have overdone it. Possibly a wee bit. Could have been a bit less, but Anyway, look at this. Oh, damn, I'm salivating. Jeez. Oh, are you dribbling? So oh, there's my salad. There's the main star of the attraction. Look at that. It's nice and rare. And here's my vegetables. I sort out onion, garlic, mushroom, tomatoes, done in butter. I've put all my garlic on top. Really nice to have you guys join me for dinner. And before one of you says in the comment section below, you're living the dream, Clay, I'll let you into a wee secret. But before I do that, let's try this, mate, because let's face it, it just looks like it's it's perfect, doesn't it? That, my friends, is a, it's a 10. Nothing. Considering I didn't have fat and I only had butter, I thought it wasn't going to work out. Because normally I would do oil or fat. But the butter's worked well. Before I talk, I've got to just try a little bit of this onion. Which I did with it with the garlic. Oh. And the, oh. Those tomatoes, I'm sorry, I've got to have, you understand, I have one meal a day, and I, 24 hours of fasting, so, oh, man, boom, whole taste buds just going crazy, anyway, I said I'd, I'll let you into a little secret before you said you're living the dream, Clay, at this very moment right now, have this I am living the dream right now um this is it listen no noise just the birds in the far distance maybe some traffic miles away but just tranquility but I was feeling like absolute shit today absolute I was feeling so fucking low I think it's up to each and one of us to take responsibility for our shit feelings. And I know exactly where my shit feelings come from. And that's why I came down here. I got away from the computer, I got away from home, got away from people, got away from everything. 
And I knew if I made this video and I made a really good feed, I'm going to keep eating while I'm talking. <laughs> I knew I'd make myself feel better. And that's what I do. And there's not one human watching this. There's not one of you out there that at some stage hasn't had a shit day. We all have shit days. And uh, most of my shit comes from being in, in physical pain because I have a lot of pain um, post-surgery and just other fucked up bits of my body from the hard, the stupid things I've done, the hard life I've lived. But I'm not saying this for any amount of sympathy because I don't want it and I don't want anybody to ever feel sorry for me. I'm doing it or telling you to showcase what you can do when you're having a bad day. And I was having a bad day. I wasn't depressed. I wasn't clinically depressed and oh, you know, I was just feeling really, really low and tired because a lot of pain does it to you. It keeps you awake at night and you... It, it, builds up so eventually you get to a point where you just can't keep going and you feel like you know so what I do when I feel like that is I put myself in a situation like this and I breathe and I remind myself that I'm so lucky just to be here because there's people that didn't wake up this morning and the other point for me is that I've been through the cancer thing and I'm in remission and there's no point to me having five years left if that's what I've got I'm not saying that's what I have got because we don't really know but there's no point in making that miserable so when I'm having a day where I feel miserable it's up to me to take responsibility to turn it around and it's absolutely the same for you if you're having a really tough day too it's up to you to turn it around and it doesn't matter what's on your plate whether you you're fighting cancer or you're fighting a bad relationship or you're struggling at work or you're struggling yourself with something that you can't resolve it's still important for you to take yourself away from that for a while just give yourself a break from the burden put it down because if you keep holding it it's like me holding this plate out here it's okay now i can hold it i'm fine you ask me in another hour what it feels like and i feel like a fucking 100 pound pig i'll be struggling so put your burden down for a bit and go somewhere else and get something else like something that's a bit lighter like a nice piece of venison with some fried garlic on it. That was my key to eat. Now I think it's now. I feel bloody great. I don't feel miserable at all. I really don't. I've turned myself around. I can't even believe I felt bad before. I can't even imagine that I felt low. That's the thing, eh? Human emotions switch like that. I mean, how could I feel bad now? Anyway, that's me. A couple of things uh, people have asked me. One is this hat. So it's made in Australia and it's made from recycled truck tarpaulins. Tarpaulin? Yeah, the tarps. All the bits. And this shirt is the Finkel. It's from Trademark. And Trademark make these shirts to create conversation so men start talking about things like where the hell did you get that bloody bright shirt mate fuck me and you start saying it's about uh it's a conversation start it's about us men talking about stuff because us men are shit at talking about the stuff and uh sometimes we are shit at talking about stuff because we feel that we tell somebody what's going on just like i have with you that they won't understand and often people don't understand but it still doesn't mean you should keep it bottled up. See, I've told you all my stuff. I've, you can see, you can actually see me change, can't you? I talked to you about it, what I was feeling, and I actually feel a weight go off. Isn't that weird? We need to share. It's important, even if it's just in a camera, because I know you're going to hear this, and so I've let it go a bit. Isn't that mad? Look at this mushroom dripping with butter and garlic. Hmm. We didn't try the salad. How's the salad? Can you imagine? Being a vegan or a vegetarian, we only eat that shit without this, this stuff here. That stuff there. Can you imagine that? Fuck that. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Anyway, sorry. I'm eating and talking at the same time. And I always tell myself before I make these videos, I'm not going to do that because it's rude. I always say, Clay. Just eat a little bit then talk, but the trouble is once I start eating, because I'm breaking my fast, my body wants to keep eating. So on that note, 
I'm going to stuff great chunks of venison into my mouth and say goodnight to you guys. I don't know how well this is focusing this light because it's actually very dark, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the clip. I probably should have been around here like that. Probably would have uh, been better as far as the focus goes because I've got the sky behind me over there. So um, I'm going to tear into this and uh, say be good. If you cannot be good, then be careful. out of 10.